All right, guys, now I'm going to talk a little bit more about adding details to your skeleton um, of your buildings. So I have this cube here. In fact, I have a few cubes and shapes drawn. Um, but now I'm ready to start adding my details. So as we all know, I have this kind of flat side of the building. If we imagine that we're standing right here on the road, we're looking over, we can see this flat side of the building. So our first instinct would be to start maybe drawing some windows on this side of the building, and that's fine. Because we know that this side of the building is completely flat shape, I can add the details of my windows in. Okay, or maybe I have a door here. And even though uh, this is the flat side, I still like to use my ruler because it makes everything much more um, exact. Okay, so I'm able to get some nice straight lines. So when I add details, especially in perspective drawings, I really do like to, you know, add lots of different lines, even if like the building might start to have some grass around it, or maybe this building has a vine going up at it or something with lots of little leaves. I don't really know. Um, but that's what I mean about details to buildings. That's what makes your buildings look really realistic, okay? Um, so that's about thinking about the flat side of your buildings. Now, if I wanted to put windows on this side of my building, those would be a little bit different. So for that, because your building is in perspective, your windows have to be connected to this vanishing point. So my trick for the windows or doors or other flat things on this um, building would just be to start kind of drawing out some, and I'll move my ruler so you can see better, drawing out some lines of reference. So I might just draw a few very, very light lines of reference basically like making stripes on the building, but they're all connected to the, your vanishing point, okay? So I've drawn some very light, and I'll go over them so you can see them, very light lines across my building, okay? But they're not perfectly parallel. They're all connected to the vanishing point. Now from here, I can use my ruler and again, create a parallel from this side of the building if I just scooch it over. I'm going to make one window right here. So I'm going to use the other lines that I drew as a guideline, create my parallel lines, and now what I have here is a perfectly drawn window in perspective. So if I wanted to, even if I wanted to add on the um, lines of the window, if I wanted that middle line, I wouldn't make it completely straight. Remember, any line is going to connect to that vanishing point. So even that line in the middle is going to connect. All right. Um, same thing would go if we are doing a door. So if we wanted to put a door on here, um, I would maybe want that line to be a little bit taller. So I'm gonna move it up a little bit as my reference point. Okay. And now I'm gonna create my um, vertical lines connected to that line. Okay, so I've put one here and one right here. And now I've created a door, a very big door, that is in perspective to my building. All right, and so you can get really creative with your details. Maybe this door is made out of wood, right? So it has some lines. And yet I can see the, like the wood grain on it. Okay, it has a weird funky handle here. I don't know. Um, maybe it's got a nice border around it. I really encourage you guys to um, look up, you know, pictures of different buildings so that you can get some inspiration or ideas so that your building doesn't look completely just like a box, uh, like a boring box, right? So like here, I started to add a cool like dome type thing on the top of my building. Um, by just creating some curved lines rather than flat lines. So I could, you know, maybe this has a really cool um, design on it, right? You could look up all sorts of architecture of buildings um, to get some ideas. Um, if I wanted to do a sign with lettering, 
Okay, I'm going to, again, use my lines to connect that sign to my vanishing point. Now, lettering um, is a little different. You, want, you still do have to think about um, keeping those letters in perspective. So I'm not going to write completely flat and straight here. So just like how my um, sign is bigger on this side, because it's farther away from my vanishing point, same would go for the letters that are on the inside there. So let's make this a, I don't know, this kind of looks like a flower. So let's make it a flower shop. So if I was going to write flower shop in here, I would make my F a little bit bigger than the rest of the, those letters because I, it's almost like they're receding, right? So now because I've made my, those letters go um, start to recede, and I didn't really do a good job with shop, but that's okay. Um, that really does help. And again, like I said, looking up actual pictures of signs and um, architectural details really will help you. So you guys can use your Chromebooks to do that. Um, all right, so those are just some basic details. You guys can get much more creative than um, I am here, I know. Um, so do your best.